Hey y'all, what's going on? So we're back here, part two of this Ford flatbed. Um, as you can see, I've already cut ground off this piece. We smoothed all this down, got it all nice and flat. I ended up cutting part of this base of the back rivet off because even it was still a little too high, so we had to cut that down a little bit. And then what I also did is I went ahead and I cut a spacer here to go on top of the frame so that when we set the bed on there, wheels still roll. Now, as you can see, we got a pretty good gap there still. So what that means is, let's take this cab off here, is we have to lose that rear bumper. That bumper is in our way. So we'll take some snips and we'll try to save it. And I don't want to destroy it. If I don't have to anyway. This side's being stubborn. They put a lot more glue on this side. Oh, there she went. Okay. So I was able to save the bumper. We'll be able to use that on a different project. Now I don't know if you can really tell it or not, but that toe hitch is about as crooked as they get so it needs to come off too <laughs> problem is, is it was glued on also I don't think I'm going to be able to slide it out of here let's see what happens here yep that sucker was glued on so we're just going to have to <laughs> snip the bottom of it off here if I can get it to don't want to destroy it let's go on the side it doesn't have the exhaust pipe I don't want to destroy it because I want to use it again. Yep, there she went. Okay. So we're good. We just lost the top of it. No big deal. Now, this being a dually truck, see we got these flares that stick out to catch the, the fenders. We don't need those anymore. And I'm actually going to try to cut this all the way back to the frame to get rid of all that because... You see, we also, we need to make room to put these toolboxes in there. So this frame needs to be narrower. So we're just going to snip it right back here behind where the running boards end on both sides. Just snip it a little bit. And then just come in here behind the back wheels and just very gently just start snipping up through there. If you have to cut a piece off to give you more room, that's fine too. This is not like you can reuse this piece for anything anyway. So we just keep snipping up through there until we get it off. So there's one side cut. See, we still got to do the other side. I'm going to cut the back of this fender off too. See, it's also going to cause losing part of this exhaust if I don't do it correctly. So let's see if we can't save that exhaust. Okay. One more little snip here. And should just about have it. Or maybe two more snips. <laughs> this is where it gets tricky. A situation like this calls for an exacto knife. There we go. Now we'll just shave it off with a exacto knife here a little bit. We'll clean this section up just a touch. Okay. So you can see we got one side cut and shaved. We still got to cut the other side. Now this piece back here behind the exhaust, I'm going to cut all that off. I'm just going to leave the exhaust sticking out for now until I decide uh, where I want to cut it at. So let's go ahead and get some of that out of the way. Okay. Now let's come to the other side and we'll cut this end off. And then we'll come from here and we'll make a couple snips just behind where the ball, the hitch ball was. 
So we're going to leave that there just because we mean it's obviously not straight, but you never know if we need a little more there as support under our bed. So we don't want to cut that off just yet. So now let's cut this last piece off. Okay, then we'll take our X-Acto knife and we'll just try to come down through here and trim this up. So that's what we ended up with. Got it all cut out, trimmed up, all the way back to the frame. I don't know if these will... Oh yeah. That was a lot, look like they're going to line right up and pop right on there. So we got that done. Let's get some of this mess out of the way here. Ooh, almost threw away the trailer hitch. I'm going to do that. Okay. So we get the, the body back on here. Stick our piece of shim in here. Slip our bed on now, and it still just doesn't quite go up far enough. We still got a little bit of a gap there. So we have two options. Ah, I see why it's crooked now. Look at that. Now, mind you, I didn't cut anything off the front of it. That's just the way that it was glued on there. You see how this side sticks out a lot more? So we're going to have to file that down something. Problem is with a file is it takes a lot longer. Really got to put a lot of pressure into it. You see how this is bending back now? I think this has popped off. And I know why that happened, but that happened because it got hot when I was cutting this off and it melted some of that plastic. So, we're just going to take that off of there. We'll put it back on, but. For right now, it just needs to come off. It'll make it a little easier to put it on. So we got that off. Let's put this shim back in here. Slide the bed back up. See the bed slides up. It goes up there pretty good. Get a little closer so you can see it. Bed goes all the way against the cab, so we're okay with that. It must have just been because I uh, melted the tab under here. When I was cutting that front off, it just got too hot. So that's good. We'll just glue that back on when we're ready for it. So we're just about done here. So we got the bed on. Sets down good and low and flat. Wheel still roll. I don't know if I'm going to cut some of this off here or not. I may not. Definitely need to cut this ex excess wood off the back of it. See if we can't mark that. That's all right. I don't need the bed on there to mark that. Take the bed off. Try it again. If all else fails, I have long fingernails. Just nick it. Get our fancy dancy little woodcutters out here. Get her all lined up. Chop her off. And as you can see, I didn't cut it straight, but that's not a big deal. A little snip snip with the cutters, and you'll never know the difference. See, and, it, and again, see, that's not straight. You know how you fix that? You stick that sucker up underneath the cab where nobody can see it. And this end still has a nice straight flat cut. See, so when you're doing this, not everything has to be perfect. You can hide some imperfections along the way. Okay, so now we're down to the part we just got to glue her all together. Well, almost. 
still need to put the toolboxes on. But I think what we're going to do here is we're going to try to get these off here without destroying the frame, first of all. Because I like to keep that chassis. I might be able to use that chassis for something else. So we don't want to destroy that just yet. So let's give it, there we go. Give it a little push, pop the glue. Those are off. Now, they're obviously, they're not going to go back on the same way that they came off of here because this chassis is built totally different. But what we'll do is we'll cut out this centerpiece on both of them. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're just going to cut this centerpiece out of here because we don't need it. There's one broke loose. All I'm doing is I'm just cutting right up the side here, right behind the toolbox. Come to the other side, do the same thing, get right behind the toolbox, cut it all the way up. Then bend that piece up and it should snap off. If it doesn't snap off, slip your cutters in there and help it along. So there, now we have two completely free toolboxes. And I think what I'm going to do is probably wait. No, I can't. I'm going to have to cut into this frame a little bit because once we get the bed on here, get this lined up centered on. Oh, I guess they will. Well, actually, I've got it not centered. Let's get it centered before we decide that it's going to fit or not. Yeah, see, these toolboxes are actually going to stick out a little bit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hack a little notch into this frame in both sides here so we can get those toolboxes to fit. Or in some cases, you could just cut and notch the tool, <laughs> excuse me, the toolbox. And after looking at this frame, I think that's probably the better choice. Because if I hack into much more of this frame, this truck's not going to be very stable. And it's going to bend and could break easily. So I think I'm going to opt to notch the toolboxes instead of the frame on this job. I think it'll look better. Um, you can see that I couldn't put toolboxes on this one. This one is a die cast frame. See how far the toolboxes would have stuck out on this one? And it just wouldn't really look right. So I don't think I'm going to put toolboxes on that one. But this one will. So we're going to have to do some work to that and make that work. So the toolboxes may not go on right away. Um, because I still got a lot of gluing to do here. So that's where we are on this one. I better cut this one short. It's already getting long too. So it's part two and it's looking like there's going to be a part three now. I'm going to have to start gluing this all together. And then we'll start uh, adding uh, toolboxes to it. We'll put the headache rack back on it. Um, I don't know if we're going to try to do anything with a brush guard or anything. I don't know. But that's where we're at so far. It's not bad, a half an hour, and we've got it this far already. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.